My name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 244 and today is our lesson number 146 please turn to page number 244 problem number 9 problem number 9 we are told that uh, we have two digit we have a two digit positive integer. I don't know why they have to say positive integer because in these kind of problems they usually are positive. We have two digit, uh, we have two digit positive integer. We are told that the 10 digit, 10 digit is 5 more than the unit digit. 10 digit is 5 more than the unit digit. So let's make an equation out of it. T is, T is going to represent the 10 digit. We are told that this 10 digit is whatever the unit digit is, it is 5 more than that. 10 digit is 5 more than the unit digit. So that's our first equation. Then they go on to say that the sum of the digits, sum of the digits equals 11 sum of the digits equals 11. That's our second equation. That means that t plus u equals 11. Now if you were to, if you were to bring this u to this side, let's continue here, the sum, sorry, 10 digit is 5 more than the unit digit. Subtract u from both sides and you end up with t minus u equals 5. In other words, when they tell you, when they tell us, <coughs> excuse me, when they tell us that 10 digit is 5 more than the unit digit, that is same as saying that the difference between the two digits is 5. The difference between the 10 digit and the unit digit is 5. A second ago I said the difference between the two digits is 5. That's not enough. That's not sufficient. Simply telling me that the difference between the two digits is 5 is not enough. I need to know which one is bigger. So the difference between the t and the u is 5. That's how we say it. So let's put this first equation. Let's put this first equation here. And the second equation, this is our equation number 2. Let's put our equation number 1 underneath it. t minus u equals 5. This is a very simple problem, very straightforward problem because we have two very simple straightforward equations. One represents the sum, the other represents the difference. You can't you can't get any simpler than that. So here we have a positive u and a negative u. The u cancels out and we end up with 2u, oh sorry, 2t, t plus t, plus t and plus t. 2t equals 11 plus 5 which is 16. That means t is equal to 8. And if t is 8, u must be, since t plus u, since t plus t, t plus u is, t plus u is 11, if u is, if t is 8, u must be 3. That's it. And t represents the 10 digit, u represents the unit digit, so the number, the integer in question is 83. <coughs> as you can see, as you can see, 10 digit is 5 more than the unit digit. 10 digit 8 is 5 more than the unit digit, and their sum, sum of the digits is 11. Sum of the digits is 11. Okay. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. The next one, number 10. Let's see if we're done with this one. Sip. Number 10. In number 10, we are told that the ratio of ratio of 2x to 5y is 3 to 4. The 
question simply is what is the ratio of x to y? <coughs> no, all right. So the ratio the ratio of ratio of 2x to 5y the ratio of 2x to 5y is 3 to 4 so let's put that down here the ratio of 2x to 5y is 3 to 4 and what they're asking us is what's the ratio of x to y ratio of x to y is what they, this is what they're looking for they're looking for this fraction x over y so somehow we have to get this x over y by itself which means we have to get rid of the 2 from the top and we have to get rid of the 5 from and we have to get rid of the 5 from the bottom the easiest and the simplest way is to is to multiply this this quantity is to multiply this quantity by the reciprocal of 2 over 5 and multiply it by 5 over 2 and if you're going to multiply this side of the equation by by some number in order for the equation to still hold we have to multiply the other side by the same number obviously 5 over 2 <coughs> and what we end up here is this 2 cancels out with that 2 which was the whole point and this 5 is going to cancel out with that 5 we end up with x over y which is what we were looking for and we find that x over y x over y is simply x over y is simply 3 times 5 which is 15 and eight, 4 times 2 is 8 so the ratio of x to y is 15 to 8 that's it you're done. <coughs> Excuse me. I will see you tomorrow. Then we will do problem number 11. Problem number 11. Problem number 11 deals with the concept of percentage. And if you happen to be one of those people who is not very good at dealing with percentage problem, the biggest hurdle that people have when, when they are presented with a percentage problem in the exam is making sure that you come up with the right equation that is the most important ingredient, the most important step and if you need to practice on the percentage problems we spend, we spend 10 days working on this concept of percentage problem. We did quite a few problems there. Just type in revised GRE, revised GRE math, the 84 to 93. <coughs> if you have not watched those videos, watch them first before you attempt this question. Problem number 11. You must do the problems ahead of time before watching the video. You will get more out of it. Do it yourself first, then do it with me. And then if you need some more help, you can always do it. If you need some more practice, you can always do it one more time on your own after having watched the video. Do you understand? I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.